Hey guys, this is Hoboken Monkey Man, and today I'm going to be showing you my airsoft armory, and some of the stuff is mine, but most of it is Taro. Say hi. Hello. And um, Taro's channel is Minecraft Cinema. Uh, what's the number after it? One. Minecraft Cinema 1, but the E in Cinema is a 3. Yes. So go check out his Minecraft videos and other stuff. But no. anyway, now on to the good stuff. So, here is... All of our airsoft stuff. Well, most of it. A lot of the stuff's back at my house. We're at Taro's house. In his gaming room. He's got his sick freaking Alienware computer. And another computers. But anyway, now on to the guns. We'll start out in the bottom and go towards the top. So first we have the Du Bois Scar H. Um, this was about $200 off Airsoft Mega Store. It's about 400 FPS. Really nice gun. Um, next, we have the G&G M4 Combat Machine Custom. It's got a flashlight, a grip, a rail on the bottom, as you can see, and then a 1x32 red green dot 8 hog. Now here, we have my, my Molly Plate Carrier Vest. It's got everything, mags, um, what else, more mags. It's got an Alice belt on the bottom, and then on the side, right here, we've got the Taurus PT-24-7 CO2 non-blowback pistol. Um, now moving up here, we made a rack, as you can see, for all the guns, just nailed, nails on the wall. We have the magazine for the Cybergun Thompson M1A1. It's a really nice gun. It was about $200 off Airsoft Megastore. Shoots about 330 FPS. It's not the greatest because it does kind of spin up uncontrollably, uh, uncontrollably after about 100 feet, but that's fine. Over here, we have the Sig Sauer uh, gas blowback pistol, and that's the mag for it. Um, really nice. It was about $130 off Airsoft Megastore. Right here we have some mags that don't fit in any of our vests, just extra mags. These two are mid caps, this one's a high cap. Up here we have the uh, uh, DPMS Panther Arms M16A2. This was about $230 and Taro got it at um, a local store at Harry's Army Navy. It's in New Jersey. The place is a bit overpriced, but... It was fine. It was his first electric gun. Oh, by the way, my G&G M4 shoots about 350 FPS. Um, moving up here, that's just a little shield that Taro made when he was bored. It says DR Goddess on it. Um, right here we have BBs. Now, I recommend you don't use these BBs in your AEG because um, they have like this white residue and it'll clog every in your gearbox and mess it up. Then we just have an extra battery that came with the Thompson M1A1 over there that we don't use. Um, over here we have a cheap, shitty battle axe <laughs> because Taro felt like hanging it up. Right Scarver, here, man. Scarver, <laughs> right here we have the uh, Walther spring pistol. That just um, broke. It like just it. broke. It fell off the wall. <laughs> yeah. Um, right here we have the Smith and Wesson shotgun. It's kind of hidden by the vest. Um, it was about, uh, 50 bucks at Harry's, but Taro got it on sale. And it was originally, like, 80. And now we have another Smith & Wesson shotgun, but this one has the stock, like, not on. Not sawed off, but it just didn't come like that. This one was about 40 bucks at Harry's on sale. Um, right here we have Taro's vest. He has a cross draw. And cross draws are for uh, more for budget airsoft players because um, they come with everything and they're about forty dollars. It's got like pistol pouches, a belt, pistol holster, magazine holsters. So yeah, most of it's uh, most of it's Taro's because we are at his house, so we don't have all of my guns. I just brought my M4 and my vest and my pistol because I was bored. So, yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.